Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my channel Tech with Eddie which is all about integrating cheap IoT devices with your favorite home automation ecosystem. My videos are all about simplifying installations using step-by-step -step guides uh, to integrate devices from Xiaomi, uh, Zlite, uh, Sonoff, uh, SmartThings and many others. The whole idea is to get the same rich home automation experience by spending less. That's the key and you have seen it in my past videos. If you haven't, please do uh, see them and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. So a couple of months back I did get my hands on a Synology NAS server. The model that I have is the DS218 Plus. It is now a central uh, part of my entire home network. Its performance is flawless. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a workhorse and uh, uh, there's no, uh, there has not been any issues uh, with it so far. So this is what I have currently installed uh, uh, with it. So Firstly, the specs. It's a dual core 2.0 gigahertz processor with a burst frequency of 2.5 gigahertz. Uh, I've installed with uh, two units of WD Red uh, 3 TB NAS internal hard drives. Plus, I've installed an additional HyperX 4 GB DDR3 memory with the existing 2 GB it comes with. Now, what am I currently using with? Uh, I'm primarily running Docker with the below, below containers which is Watchtower, Portainer, Plex, P-Hole, Transmission, MQTT, Hoops. It basically covers my uh, network, it uh, covers my media and entertainment as well as my home automation. Now the moment I started integrating non-certified devices with my Apple Home Kit, I said why not integrate Synology and uh, Pi-Hole with Apple Home Kit. So I started investigating and I did come across two plugins uh, which both are uh, certified with hoops. The uh, Synology plugin, uh, what it basically does is in Apple HomeKit, it shows you the status of the server, whether it's on or off and the temperature. And if you want to uh, know more about the performance of a Synology NAS server, um, it's good to use the Eve uh, app with that you can see the CPU load, the hard disk usage as well as the temperature. So you can get more details using the Eve app on your Synology uh, NAS server. And the uh, P-Hole plugin, uh, all it does is enable, disable the service. Everything happens uh, in the palm of your hands using just Apple HomeKit. For all of this to work, we will need obviously a Synology uh, NAS server. In my case, I'm using the D18 uh, Plus to uh, we will need the Pi Hole service uh, up and running. In my case, I'm doing it through Docker. And most importantly, your preferred home automation. In my case, I'm using uh, Hoops. So for all this installation to happen, I will run them uh, together. So we will uh, install the plugins uh, followed by the configuration and we'll see how they are really working uh, in the Apple Home Kit uh, as well as the Eve Home app. Okay, so like I always say, uh, let's not waste time and let's jump into the installation. So let's first log in into our server. And also let's log in into our Hoops platform. And uh, with the, within the Hoops platform, let's go ahead and install the plugins. So let's look for Synology. Hit install. And let's go ahead and also install the Pi Hole plugin as well. Whilst the installation uh, is being executed, I've in, uh, added in the description uh, the step-by-step uh, -step guide for all, both these plugins. So uh, you can, we will go through uh, with them in this installation video and uh, configure the, the same, okay? So let's go ahead and configure the Synology plugin. And let's copy code and 
go all the way down to Synology, hit Configuration, Add Accessory, and we're going to put this, paste it over here. So we will need to get the IP address, the MAC address, the port, your account, the password, the version that is currently using, and we leave the other three values as it is. So let's go on to the Synology web interface. Hit control panel. And the first thing we want to go is go to info center. We want to go to network. And we want to copy first the IP address. Control C. Okay. Next, we want to get the MAC address. Okay. Uh, then we want to get the uh, port. For the port, we need to go to network. We need to go to DSM settings. So if you have enabled the HTTPS, then we need to use 5001. If not, the default value is 5000. So in my case, I'm using HTTPS. So I'm just going to copy this to this value. It's already there. And then my account. So in my case, it's ADT. And uh, I'm going to type my password. And before we save the, the configuration, let's go to our Apple Home app and you will see that uh, it does not appear. Go to the living room, it's not there. To my sensors, it's not there. And in my server. So basically, I'll be installing uh, this uh, plugin here in my server room. It's not there. Uh, so let's go back to the hoops and uh, scroll down. We're going to say save changes. The configuration has saved. Let's go up to our Apple Home app and it should appear now. There it is. Show controls. Separate tiles. So we can see the server of the disk station as well as the temperature of the uh, disk station. Now we're done with the Synology uh, plugin setup. So let's quickly uh, do the Pi-hole uh, plugin installation as well. So we will go to the Pi-hole, add accessory. Okay, so we need to, that's the name, we need to add in the authent authentication token. Uh, we need to add in the IP, the port, uh, that's the only information that we need to add. So, so this is basically the service of my Pi hole running through Docker, uh, which is housed in my Synology NAS. And within the Docker uh, container, uh, one of the important values that I added over here was to have its own port. In my case, I've given a web port of 2300. So that's a dedicated, by default, it's 80. But in my case, I'm using 2300. So for this plugin to work, let's go into the step-by-step -step tutorials. You've got to log in. You've got to go to settings. Under API web interface, hit on token. Click on yes, show API token. And this is the screen that you'll get. You just have to copy this raw, raw API token value and paste it in the configuration. So uh, we'll go ahead and do that. This is the instance. So I need the, uh, so the address in my case, let's fill up the host information first. In my case is 192.168.86.12, the address of my Synology NAS. The port is 2300. And 
let's go and uh, fetch the uh, token. So we'll go to Pyho. We go to settings. API web interface. And we're going to click on show API token. It will provide this pop up. Click on it. It will take you to the screen. Copy. Oops. Paste. And we're going to click on save changes. So here it is. It has popped up already. And if you see that we have the, it is enabled, the service is enabled. So show controls, go to turn it off. There is uh, no change in the web interface. So let's refresh the page. Let's open it up. And if you see over here, it has disabled itself so now the service is not working let's go ahead and turn it on give it a couple of seconds refresh go back and you see now it's running with the synology um, plugin what you can do is go into the evom app and uh, under the automation and rules section, you can create triggers that based on CPU load, hard disk usage or temperature, you can have visual notifications by turning on some lights and uh, providing an alert uh, if any of the thresholds have been met. Uh, with this way, you don't need to uh, wait for anything disastrous to happen or run out of space or uh, have your uh, network attached storage uh, working uh, over time. So here we have two plugins with uh, the Synology uh, disk station as well as the server Pi-hole. Finally, there we are. Collaboratively, we've installed two plugins, the Synology as well as the Pi-hole. Uh, with both these plugins now uh, in your Apple Home Kit, you don't need to open a web page to understand and know what's the status of the Pi-hole service or the, your uh, net, uh, Synology uh, NAS server. Everything happens at the palm of your hands. You can get rich visual, uh, rich, uh, visual uh, notifications. Uh, you can automate and also get feedback uh, for the device, the Synology NAS server, as well as the uh, P-hole service. Easy peasy. Now to keep all of this going, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. That's the real driver. That's the real motivator to bring all of this content to y'all. And if you have decided to get your own hoops out of the box, uh, so all in one solution, I've got the links in the description. Please go ahead and click them. Uh, it really helps me with the channel as well. And most importantly, not forgetting the developers who make all of these fantastic plugins and make this all possible for us. So until the next time, stay safe, have a nice day. Bye, ciao, and happy automation.